I have a woman here that's a little... Is it a chance for her? I have a seven-year-old that is, is a chance for her. And for you? And I'm alive. So there's a chance for you? Yeah, there's a chance. Before we go to the commercial, meet Matthew Fogg, Deputy United States Marshal. Matthew has come to tell us that the Witness Protection Program has some problems. We'll be right back. Stay down. About the program? Yeah, or about the fact that they live high in the hog. I, I don't ever want to get away from that life, and mm. they're always going to live it, whether they're in the program or not. I think they're always going to live it. So what do you think of Henry? Well, I, I feel sorry for him. Why? Because um, what, he, what he did, whatever way you look at it, it was, a, it was a brave, courageous thing, what he did. He came out, he turned his back on the life, and, he, and I, I believe he truly thought he was doing something good. He wanted to turn his back on the life and change his life, and now it's... For better or worse, it went downhill for him. He, you know, look at his state no now. No pun intended. Henry, it went downhill. That'll be his new name. Yeah. Matthew, what about these allegations that you guys cut him loose once you get him in there, that you make promises you don't keep? Um, well, you got to understand something that McDonald said earlier about the program, and that is, uh, we're not designed, we're designed to protect people. And the problem is, is, uh, a lot of the witnesses come into the program, those that come into the program, mm -hmm. and do not follow by the rules and the regulations. Uh, there's always that chance uh, you're compromising the security and someone could get hurt. And we have, we have a certain set of rules that we have to lay down and, and abide by those rules. And um, if, the, uh, if the witness doesn't want to abide by those rules, we have to let them go. So should we not feel sen sorry for Henry? It's, Henry did something to help the system work from the standpoint of putting people away. I don't feel the sorry for him. No, I don't think we should feel that way right now. How should we feel about the Witness Protection Program? I think we should feel that the Witness Protection Program needs, needs assistance. It needs uh, it's something McDonald said earlier. Uh, we need to have a program that we can design to help the people in the program once they get in the program with problems such as his, drugs or whatever the problem may be. We need to focus more on that. Uh, we're not counselors. The Witness Protection Program are not counselors, so we can't get into that. And that's, that's one of the problems. But you know, Ed, the people that get in these programs, you know, have dirty hands. They're certainly not angels. You know they carry all kinds of baggage. That's the problem with the program. Uh, you're taking people with deep psychological problems. Uh, How else do you become a mass murderer? Well, unless you have deep psychological right. problems. Sure. Well, not that many people who went to the Witness Protection Program who are not in prison. Uh, are mass murderers. I mean, Sammy the Bull, you know, is a, a sort of an exception to uh, what normally happens. And there's a situation where a mass murderer has been a... The next show will be CNN. And this is a massive manhunt.